If you watched our last two videos from this trip to Key West, then you know that we already packed in a ton of activities on day one and day two in Key West, Florida. On our final Key West video today, we took it a little bit slower, but we still got a lot of exploring done. So keep watching to see what we got into. We started the day with breakfast and coffee from Key's Coffee, and we really didn't have expectations of Key's Coffee. We just kind of wandered in, but it was amazing. The breakfast and the coffee was both absolutely delicious. This is going to be something that we add to our list of must visit places every time we are in Key West. That list is rapidly growing longer and longer every single time we visit Key West. After breakfast, we took the rest of our coffee and went for a walk, and we finally went into St. Paul's Church on Duval Street. If you've ever been to Key West and been on Duval Street, you've probably seen this church. It is beautiful. So we finally went inside. It is open to the public, but it is an active church, so make sure that you're not interrupting a service if you go inside, but it is absolutely beautiful, and I recommend checking it out if you get the chance. We were feeling pretty tired from being so busy the prior two days and honestly a little hungover. So we decided to get tickets for the conch train that takes you around town. We visit Key West regularly and we love learning more about Key West history. Therefore, we know quite a bit about Key West history and did not expect to learn very much from the conch train, but we were really impressed. We did learn a lot and we also loved being able to see all of the town or at least a lot of it without having to walk. The conch train is a hop off, hop on tour, so you can get on or off at any one of their stops and this can be a convenient way to get around town. We spent the afternoon at the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum. Mel Fisher was a treasure hunter who found the famous Atocha shipwreck in the Florida Keys. We absolutely loved this museum. It has artifacts from old shipwrecks, including from the Atocha. And in complete disclosure, I was honestly just really hungover and didn't take a lot of footage here, but we did genuinely really enjoy this museum. We headed to Schooner Wharf for a late lunch and early dinner, and it was just the ticket for our hangovers. We enjoyed some live music here as well, and then we called it a pretty early night. The next morning, we grabbed coffee at the famous Cuban Coffee Queen before catching an early flight home. 
and that's it we were in key west for three full days and then on the fourth day we pretty much just had time for the coffee before our flight that's about it I hope that you enjoyed these three videos on our vlog from Key West. We love Key West so much and we already are planning another trip back. So let me know if you have any questions or anything like that because I am definitely always willing to go back and do that research for you if I don't know the answer. Meanwhile, we have a lot of good Florida content coming your way. So if you liked these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will be back next week.